everyone. Today I wanted to share my beauty product inventory. So this is for skincare, body care, hair care, bath stuff, kind of anything beauty related, not makeup. Um, so kind of this is stemming from, I'm on a no buy right now. I will link my no buy videos down below if you're interested. So I'm using this no buy time to help me kind of reset my mindset and use up what we have first and I did an inventory in our bathroom closet and kind of all the places things are hiding and I have so much more stuff than I thought and it just goes to show like when it's nice and neat and organized and when it's not all in one place like I have a lotion here and I have this there um it definitely makes the products into multiply so anyway I am going to be putting up on the screen um, kind of the numbers as I talk through them, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to start with skincare. Um, when I did my inventory, which to be completely candid was about three weeks ago. Um, so I have used a few things up since, which I will be talking about in my no buy updates. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make this as like a snapshot in time. Skincare products, I had 51. Um, and to kind of break that down, I have my notebook here. I had four makeup removing type products. I have four cleansers, three sort of like eye care stuff, whether it be an eye serum or eye cream, something like that. Eight serums, uh, 10 moisturizers. That's one that really surprised me. I did not think I had that many face moisturizers. And then I was like, oh, well, and there's that one, and there's that one, and there's that one. Um, two face oils, that's not too bad. Eight mask or scrub, um, like treatments for the skin. Something like I wouldn't use in my normal daily routine, but maybe like a weekly type thing. Um, one lip scrub, five toners, that one also kind of surprised me. One spot treatment, and five lip balms. So that is the skincare kind of total. Um, so not only did I break it down into categories like that of what type of product, I got the inspiration from Hannah. Um, I'll leave her kind of video, uh, channel down below if you don't know who she is, definitely check her out. I wanted to look at what's currently in use, like things that I am regularly reaching for and using, and what is kind of a backup. Um, so for me, for my skincare, I have 23 items that are currently kind of in rotation, in use. This includes the masks that I'm regularly using. Um, so yeah, 23 products, which is a lot. Um, and that leaves me with 28 products that are kind of backup or not currently being used, which is also a lot. Um, so I definitely don't need to be buying any type of skincare <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, most of the numbers as I look through kind of on my cheat sheet here, most of the things I have multiples of, the only two categories I don't have multiples of is a lip scrub and a spot treatment. So when those two are done, I will repurchase, but everything else I've got another kind of solution or backup or another product for. Um, so it's just kind of a nice eye opener to realize, okay, I actually do have quite a bit and I don't need to be spending money um, on any of those products because I have plenty. So let's move into body care next. Um, this one also, I don't know, was a lot higher than I thought. Um, so I have a total of 64 body care products and let's break that down. So I have five shave creams. Didn't even know I had five. <laughs> um, seven body scrubs. 14 solid body washes. Um, so I use, personally, I use the Lush um, solid body, the naked shower gels, um, and I cut them into bars. So it's a little bit kind of like a bar soap, but the um, consistency is a lot different for me anyway. I don't get dried out. Um, so I count those. We also have three like liquid body washes. Um, my boyfriend uses a liquid he doesn't like the bar soap or the you know solid um so we have three of those and then for actual kind of more traditional like bar of soap i have 23 bars of soap what 
honestly, I know where they came from. We both are in the habit. We travel for work quite a bit, so we just grab bars of soap. We never have to buy soap, um, but we need to start working through it. So I have switched out um, our liquid soap in a lot of our bathrooms to bars of soap, and I'm using it to wash my makeup brushes, and I'm doing that more regularly, and um, whatever else just needs like a quick clean. I'm using bar soap more to hopefully make a dent in that because that is a lot. Um, I have 12 lotions. That one also kind of surprised me. Um, but then the more I thought about it, we have kind of a lotion everywhere. Like we have two downstairs. We have two upstairs. I have one in my purse. Like there's lotion all over the place. Plus there's some in the closet. So, you know, there's just a lot. Um, but that's kind of one of those examples that it just sneaks up on you. Okay, um, and I think that is it for body care. Um, so again, 64 products, and I have, I think I counted 10, I think that's right, products that are like actually in use right now, um, and the rest is on reserve or backup. So um, 54 and backup is a lot. I'm not super pleased with that number. Um, I would like to see that go down drastically. So I'm definitely going to be making an effort, um, to get through those body, uh, shower gels, the solid ones, as well as the bars of soap, um, and the lotions too. I, that one, I have a lot of like half used lotions. So I feel like I'm kind of prioritizing those ones first to just knock them out. And then I'll go through like the full, like ones that are completely full in our back stock, but we just have a lot of like half used ones that I want to prioritize first. Okay. Moving into hair products. Um, I have 25 hair products, which honestly kind of surprised me too. I don't do a ton with my hair. Um, it's pretty basic, my routine. So that one surprised me. Um, so looking at my list here, I have five shampoo type products. Um, so that's traditional shampoo. I also have a clarifying shampoo and I have this like apple cider vinegar hair rinse. So I'm going to count that as a shampoo because you use it in the shampoo position of your hair care routine, I guess. Like it's, it's like your cleanse before your conditioner and I've had that thing for years. So I just need to use it up and be done with it. Um, and then I have six conditioners, so that counts regular conditioners and like masks. Um, so I have a conditioner and a mask kind of in use at the same time. I have four leave-in conditioner type products. So three of them are sprays and one of them is more of like a cream in a bottle. Um, and those ones, I knew I had a couple, um, I, I kind of bought a few extra, um, obviously, <laughs> but I'm using them and going through them. So it just takes, you know, time. I have two dry shampoos, three hair oils. Um, one of them I haven't used for a while, so I need to see if I still like it. I'm not going to be for, this goes for any of these products. I'm not going to force myself to use anything up. Um, it's just not worth it to me. I would rather use a product that I know works for me instead of struggle through it. So if any of these just end up not working, they're out the door. Um, three hairsprays. So I have two full size and one mini. Um, and I think I am actually going to kind of preserve that mini. I am starting to travel just a little bit more. Um, even though it's COVID, I'm still taking a couple of trips here and there. So I'd like to have that. Um, I have two curl creams. I do wear my hair natu I have naturally curly hair, not that you can like really tell right now, but I feel like I wear my hair naturally curly way more in the summer because with the humidity, it's just not worth trying to straighten it or do waves or anything because the humidity just puffs it back up and makes it curly. So I really lean into the curly hair in the summer. Um, and traditionally I lean into more of like hot tool related hair in the winter and the fall. So we'll see if I end up going towards my naturally curly hair this um, fall and winter or not. Otherwise in the spring summer is when I really hit those products hard. So I don't know how much progress I'll make there. Um, and those are all of the hair care products. So um, kind of looking at my tally, I have nine products in use, um, which means I have 16 that are not in use. And so I definitely want to kind of work through them, but I also like, like I said, I don't do anything special with my hair. I'm pretty low maintenance. So sometimes they just take a while, like hair oils take forever to use up because I don't want to use a ton. Like I want to use enough to kind of nourish my hair and help with 
frizz and everything, but I don't want my hair to be oily, you know, like that's, that's not the purpose. So some things just are going to take time, but it is nice to know what I have. Um, and it's just, again, a good reminder, like I don't need any shampoo and conditioner anytime soon. I am all set. The last kind of category I have is bath related products. Um, so I have six. I have two bath bombs, three bubble bars, and one bag of Epsom salt. Um, so those ones, I don't really count any of them like in use. I just kind of reach for them as they come. Um, I guess maybe like the Epsom salt could be considered in use because it's open and I don't know. The bath bombs and the bubble bars are one time use products for me because they're a smaller size. They're not like the giant lush ones. Um, so those ones I just count as single use and they sit in my closet until I'm ready to use one. It's not like it's a bottle that's open and going. So I think I'm just going to count the Epsom salt as open and in use and then the bubble bars and bath bombs as kind of backup. So that gives me six bath products, one in use and five out of use. Um, I don't really have like a goal for a lot of these. I think it's okay to have backup products. Um, I just, I think a, a kind of guiding force for me is more of, I don't want so many backup products that I can't get through in a year. Ideally, I think I'd like to have six months worth of backup products. So for example, if I know I can go through a lotion in two months, I would want maybe three lotions in the closet as backup. Um, just so that I know it's there. Like it is very convenient when you run out to have something on hand, but I don't need the number, like the extreme number that I'm seeing right now. So I think that's kind of the overall guiding factor. A lot of this stuff is um, mini size. I did count it just one as one, it's one moisturizer. Um, so that is something just to kind of keep in mind, but yeah, that is the inventory. Um, I don't know if I'll really do an update. I guess you guys let me know. This is something I kind of plan to talk about in my no buy updates, um, kind of how many products I've used up. And of course, in my empties videos, I'll be reviewing all of them and talking through it. But I just thought it would be nice to sit down and kind of tally these up and talk through them. Definitely I'd love to hear which areas you feel like you accumulate more in and which areas are fine in your collection. It is very interesting to me that different people kind of hoard different things um, and, and different people go through different things at different rates as well. So anyway, that is going to kind of wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.